This is old Skeeter once again, down here in the old sand pile you call Florida. Very hot and humid day down here in Florida. But then again, it's August. It's supposed to be hot down here. Today, I want to talk to you about my super, my Super Tecmar 50 millimeter 1.4. Nice, fast, old fashioned style manual lens that we all love to use shooting videos with. I bought this locally, very fair price. Uh, that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is that this lens has the yellow tinge on the last element that many of these lenses, older lenses have. It's a radioactive type material that they used back in the 70s to produce these and they get a yellow tinge. Now I know you can take them, put them out in the sunlight, leave them out there for days to remove this. I heard of a different way of doing it and that is what this video is going to be about. I'm going to show you a different way I found of doing this and you stick around and we'll find out together if this works or not. The video is going on YouTube if it works or not. So this is an experiment. I hope it works. I really don't want to set this sucker out this Florida sun down here. It'll cook it. Cook it good. All right, stick around. Old Skeeter will be right back with you. Okay, folks, here's the secret. This lamp is supposed to take the yellow out of that Super Tecumar lens in around 24 hours. I read this on the internet, so it has to be true. Well, we're going to find out. Uh, this is a LED lamp that I got from a Kia. Oh, Kia. Um, cost nine dollars and ninety-nine cents, something like that, plus sales tax. So, if this works, I'm going to be very happy because I can use the lamp afterwards. So it's not like uh, um, that I had to buy this thing special just for that. I have use for this lamp afterwards. It has one LED in it. It's really bright. When I looked at it. It's very good. So uh, let me take it apart here. Unbox it. Let me reach down here and get my trusty blade. Cut the boy, they packed this stuff up pretty good down there. I'm good at packing this stuff up. Okay, that's what it looks like inside the box. You have um, it's an adjustable one of those snake type controls. It gives you a plug in, you got your lamp and a pretty hefty weighted base for it. So um, I'm gonna stick it together here and I'll come back and show you what it looks like all together. Okay, once the lamp is assembled, this is what it looks like. Long, skinny, flexible top, you can bend it and shape whatever you like to do and has an LED one LED right in the middle like I said before it's pretty bright uh, it has a pretty heavy base to it now it has this pad that peels and sticks and goes on there I haven't done that yet you assemble it you put these two screws in put the base on and that's it so it wasn't complicated at all as far as using is concerned Okay, now I'm going to set it up and show you how I'm going to use this to uh, try to take the yellow out of that Super Tech Mar lens. All right, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I got a little compact mirror that my wife had. I'm going to borrow that. And the idea of this is I'm going to set the lens on there like so, and Maybe the light will shine and reflect back and forth and maybe do a little better job. I don't know, but I'm trying it anyhow. All right, now what I do next is I'm gonna bring the light over. 
I'm gonna bend that down and get that as close as I can. Probably go past it a little bit, then bring it back over. Okay, so that's shining right down in there. Hit the switch. Okay, the light is on and shining right down in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead, leave it like this for as long as it takes, maybe 24 hours, maybe 48 hours, see how it works. Maybe longer, I don't know. But uh, we'll come back to this and uh, see how it goes. So, all right, see you then. Okay, I had this Super Tacumar lens underneath that LED for approximately 48 hours, pretty darn close to 48 hours. I checked it at 24 hours, there was still some yellow in it, but nowhere near. It was blotchy, had blotchy yellow tint when I originally looked at this. There is no blotchy yellow tint in here. Now, at 48 hours, it's been 48 hours, there's a slight yellow tint in there. So I'm going to say that that LED light works. Now here's the catch. I've been doing some checking on the net and it, everybody on the net says that the LEDs don't put out any UV light. What can I say? You know, my eyes are old, but they're not that bad. I look in here, this, this lens has a yellow tint on the front of it, which is the coating. And you look on the back, it is it was blotchy yellow. There's no blotchy yellow in there as the picture I took showed you. And I took those pictures exactly, the first picture and the second picture were taken on this table the same time of day with the sun shining. Exactly the same. The camera set up exactly the same. So there's no touch up or nothing on there. I have no reason to fool you on this. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, from time to time, when I'm not using this lens, I'm going to stick it up underneath of that LED and see if it'll just take it completely out of there. Heck, I don't know if it's completely out or not. It's just maybe that's the color of the lens. I don't know. But I'm telling you what. I'm satisfied with it, and I do believe that that LED worked. So this is old Skeeter down here in the sand pile telling you, I'll be gone.